Hello, you are joining me on an absolutely beautiful afternoon in South Wales. It's fairly cold. I can see north to the Brecon Beacons, the central banner of Kenyog Mountains, and they are capped in snow. But sadly, my car has been in the garage for three weeks and it's still in the garage now, so I cannot get up there for any kind of camp. So I've come to a local hill to do another hill on the miners list. This is one I cannot pronounce, I've got no idea how you go about pronouncing it, so I'll pop the name on the screen now. It's 445 metres. I think we're in Merthyr Tidville, or in the Merthyr County. And when we get to the top of this hill, we are going to have fantastic views of those snow-capped mountains as well. Today is not a long walk, it's not a difficult walk, we have parked quite a long way up so the car has done most of the ascent that's my uh, my girlfriend's car <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I've not done this hill for quite a long time is that the road up is absolutely terrible and uh, my stupid car would be even more wrecked <laughs> driving up it so to my girlfriend's car which is a bit more rugged and designed for a bit more of that kind of uh, road so it's only a short walk the views already as you can see classic South Wales Valley views really beautiful part of the world and as we start to get to the top of the first little crest the views of those snowy mountains will open up absolutely beautiful sky today but that does mean showers of rain and it has already started but there's plenty of blue sky around as well, so hopefully it'll just be a couple of showers and uh, I'm not going to get drenched. As you can see, you're actually on a a really old little road but there's no vehicle access to it anymore it's blocked off by a gate at the bottom so I think you've only got access if you're the landowner there used to be absolutely huge problems of fly chipping up on this hill when I came last time there wasn't very much there were signs of uh, stuff having been cleared away so I think the uh, council have worked really hard to try and block up each end of this track so people can't get up here it's a real shame because this is a really nice hill and it's one of those gateway hills to the central Brecon beacons as well uh, incredibly peaceful compared to being up anywhere near the more popular central mountains as well and a uh, completely different kind of set of views you get from here really really nice ones As ever, we can locate ourselves by the other hills we've done on the miners list. So right opposite where the comms tower is in the woods, that's Twin Brynbachan. Really stunning walk and uh, another hill on the miners list. And then along the top of that ridgeway, what you won't see now, uh, with a trained eye you can see some of the scars, but those were the big co-spoil tips were that uh, slid down to Abbevan and killed all those school children and then the, basically the response from the government was an absolute disgrace um, even dead school children doesn't really change anything politically um, so looking over there there's a lot of a lot of hidden history and meaning of, uh, of that little side of the hill over there and it is actually a beautiful Ridgeway walk through the heavily forest area where there's a moon of Geffen, which is really quite high. And then right to the edge of that there, you might just be able to see another Comtar right in the end, that's Moon of Aberdeer. And that is a hill on the miners list um, for the spectacular views of the Brecon Beacons, which we're just starting to open up now. So you can just see some of the snowy caps of the, uh, the Western Beacons there. So I think that's the Black Mountain, Van Gerich, Van Neef, 
and I think you can just about see the swing of um, Van Vaar as well. But we're going to head up this grassy little track towards the summit of this hill where the rest of the beacons will come into view. More views opening up. We're heading to the little lump in front. I think that's roughly the top, might go a little bit further. Over there, another hill from the mine is this Pen Gambia 477 meters, and then Minifokra above that. And that's not a hill, it's just another little uh, point towards the edge. And then back down, looking a long way back down to the South Valleys, South Bose Valleys, and I can see a couple of hills there. I recognise the Munifer Glug on the miners, or the Grug, sorry, the Munifer Grug. Uh, Munifer Lan, <laughs> right over there. Uh, Munifer Glacian, Caffeine Glacian. And then just in the very, very, very distance, you can just about make out those rain showers which are falling over the sea. But what a day for it. Absolutely a magical light. On an easy walk with good views, this has got to be top of your list if you're in this part of South Wales because it has been raining for what seems like the entire winter. It's now sort of towards the end of February. Everywhere is flooded. Every time it rains, things flood instantly because the ground is absolutely saturated. But this little hill walk, you've got the choice just to the right of me of a little tarmac path or just to the left where we're on now. A very nice, flat, smooth, grassy path covered in dirt bike tracks, as is often the case in, uh, in South Wales valleys like this. But it's really easy walking. Um, you're not going to get your feet wet. You're not going to sink into bogs or anything like that. So it is actually an all year round hill you can visit. And as the views open up more and more, it makes you realize sometimes it's as good to view the Brecon Beacons from afar as it is to be up there. And today, with a capping of snow on there, Penavan is going to be absolute carnage. One of those days where the verges are covered in cars for a couple of miles, and it's just like the M4 up the main gravel path to the summit. It'll still be nice, but sometimes you just want a bit of peace and quiet, and that's where the miners list steps in. And in the very far distance, that is the Black Mountains. You can see again with a dusting of snow over the highest peaks. You do get above 800 meters in the Black Mountains, so not quite as high as uh, Panavan and Gondi, but pretty much the next highest spot in South Wales. And uh, just absolutely beautiful views in that direction again. The shade, the sunlight. The clouds, the little shafts of rain everywhere. A nice little bonus are these little uh, rocks everywhere. You don't get many locations in South Wales, including the Bracken Beacons, where you get many rocks like this. So it's the kind of rocks you might see on a, a tour in Devon, for example. Just, uh, just watching a buzzard fly from the rock in front of me. Would have been nice to capture that, but uh, <laughs> as I always with, with wildlife, you only see it when it's flying off. Yeah, a really nice little spot. You can't beat standing on a rock for a second or two. Great views over towards Minifabadere. See the little comms tower right on the edge of it. And then you can see the beautiful Brecon beacons, Fanvar, and then you can just see Corn and Penavan there. Plenty of snow up on those tops today. 
Well, we are here, 445 meters. It's not a trig point, and there's something that wasn't here last time. There's actually, I think if I'm pointing at it, a sign. <laughs> I've never seen a sign on a hill before. Um, but yeah, it gives you the name and the height. And it pretty much marks the highest spot. I think where I'm stood now is probably about level with where that little sign is pitched. The views are absolutely incredible. So I'll give you a 360 degree view now. Well, I've been up here a while now, shooting a couple of time lapses. And there's a red kite just to the north of me now, circling, just landed just up the hill. The skies are absolutely amazing. The views are breathtaking. So I've been taking some photos as well. And I bumped into a lovely couple who happened to have seen my video uh, on the miners list of Penny Vole. And they actually were looking for a way of walking that hill in found you via Google and watched the video and walked it. And today they were doing a, a loop up round here. So they're the only people I've seen apart from two dirt bikes going past on the road. <laughs> so it was quite cool that they'd actually seen the video. So hello, if you're watching this, I doubt it, but um, yeah, really good to see people hiking today because the views are just absolutely amazing from up here. And uh, as I always say, I'd rather go out and get hit by a few showers and enjoy skies like this and go out on a clear blue day because it is just yeah constantly changing obviously the time lapses will will show that as well which is why I wanted to really hang around and shoot some yes yeah, so I've had a little walk around um, just left my cameras alone for a while whilst I walked around because I don't think there's anyone up here now anywhere around um, so we are going to head a little bit further north up on the on the ridgeway because I think there's a couple of standing stones or nice stones up there somewhere. I've seen photos of them online but there's no real directions to exactly where they are but I think they're just up there so we'll have a quick nose that way. And uh, yeah, I'm in no hurry to get off this ridgeway or hill because it's just, um, just pretty much an absolute perfect day for it. One thing I did notice on my stroll, or I didn't notice if you want to look at it that way, is there's no fly tipping. So it does seem as if they've got the road and hill effectively um, cut off from people in vans and cars tipping stuff up here. And I think the sign on top of the hill, I think it's just like a, an attempt to reclaim it really. So put a nice sign on it and get people to walk it, try and get a bit of a um, set of people sort of looking after it really. So yeah, success for Murtha Council. I mean, there's still a bit of rubbish up here in places, um, but really it's absolutely minimal now compared to what it used to be by all accounts. So yeah, a fantastic hill that was touch and go on the mine exist at one point. I was, I enjoyed walking it the first time, but no, coming back in, this, in these conditions and it's <laughs> raining again now, raining and sunny at the same time. No, it's, it's an absolute uh, definite for the, for the miners list. And I'm really pleased that um, the council seem to be looking after it better now. And I think it's a place I might revisit at some point for a wild camp because next to the side is a lovely little place to pitch. And as I'm walking further north now as well, it's very, um, lots of smooth grass and nice pitches. And I think I did a little track from home to work it out. It's about a 10 mile walk from the house. So yeah, I think at some point I'll walk it from the house and do a wild camp up here. And um, yeah, going to sleep with these views and waking up with them as well. 
something I'm gonna definitely try and do at some point this year. We're sort of at the furthest point in the ridgeway now where it starts to drop away steeply uh, completely in this direction. So you've got a real Welsh scene in front of you now. You've got beautiful Bracken Beans Mountains. You've got the industrial past in terms of Merthyr Tidwell down there. And then you've got the industrial present. So that huge complex is an open cast coal mine that's uh, supposed to be closing. But apparently they didn't uh, save up enough money to re-landscape the site once they'd finished. So they're trying to fight to keep mining it until they've got enough money together to actually put the site right. And um, you can see what a huge job that is. They've made some really substantial hills in their own right there. Yeah, it is very much a Welsh scene. Um, right the way to the Black Mountains over there. That lump between uh, places the sugar loaf which is just so distinct you can't miss it got paragliders jumping off the hill opposite got little flecks of rainbow and the rain clouds that have just passed us dropping a bit of sleet and hail as well just an absolutely amazing day and a fantastic location I think what makes this hill a bit more special is the fact that it is quite thin feels like a bit of a ridgeway walk. You've got nice deep drops in different directions, so you get a real 360 degree kind of sense of scale and views in every direction. And you've got a few crags. I've walked as far north as I'm going to now. I couldn't find this one rock formation that I've seen online. Um, I just don't know where it is. I don't know if it's one of the, lump, the lumps we saw earlier when we were playing, I don't know. I'll have to have a level look at the photo and see if it is one of those one of those rocks I just didn't recognise it when I was wandering around. But no, what an absolutely fantastic day for it. Um, one of those days where you just happen to come out on a particular day, um, sort of everything's conspired to give you only enough time to do a, a short walk and a hill only so far away. Um, didn't have my car, which is uh, not the best car to go on dodgy roads on. Um, so I bribed my girlfriends and they thought, well, now's the day to come up this really rough road and do this hill. And we just have the most amazing skies for it. Just the most amazing scenes. And it's been a couple of red kites flying constantly around me, really low and uh, lit up by the occasional sun coming through as well. Just everything a, a good walk should be. And again, it's not a long walk. It's not a hard walk. There's not too much ascent because you drive most of the ascent. It's a really quite accessible hill and it's just absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to start heading back now. So as you can see, I'm already heading, heading south back towards the car. So I'll keep the cameras with me in case there's any more scenes just to pick out anything else interesting to spot on the way back. But yeah, it should be a nice, easy stroll back to the car now. As ever, if you're ever in South Wales and you want to do any of these walks, if you visit my website, thewalkingkev.co.uk, you'll see the miners list and all the track information is there. So you can download the GPX track or you can view the track on Outdoor Active, see where I've parked, see where I've walked, and you'll see all the distances, elevations, that kind of stuff. You see that for all the miners, hills, any mountain walks, um, walks around parks, canals, all sorts of different stuff. Whenever I'm out hiking, I try and uh, try and track it and uh, if it's a decent walk, share it on our website. One of those walks, the views are great in both directions, so 
kind of walk towards the Bracken Beacons and you walk back towards the South Valley, Wales Valleys and uh, the sea. But I'm not too far from the car now, so I'm going to end the video here. A huge thanks for watching if you have made it this far. And hopefully you've enjoyed some of the scenes. I've tried to capture as best I can, but it's always impossible really. You just need to be here, but hopefully it's the next best thing. So yeah, huge thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.